divorced before, you know, my first marriage, we made all of the mistakes. Unfortunately, he passed away. So why did you guys get a divorce? Because I really wanted something different. It's very unfortunate because he was the most loving, wow. kind person. I, I had all the love and support that I could have ever wanted. But I think I went through a period wanting money. Like I wanted to be with someone and be at a different level. And I saw him work all of the time. It's, it's one thing to like work and work and work from like 4 a.m. to 10 p.m. at night, day in, day out, and still have no resources. Mm. And for me to work, do the same, and just want a different life. So. What's going on, you guys? And welcome back to A Different Perspective. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button for your boy. So we got a viewer submission. This one was sent to me over on Instagram by one of my viewers. Go follow me over there, Artie Kicks. Y'all want to send me some more stuff like this? Feel free to. As y'all can see by the title, this is a video of a woman admitting to divorcing her husband because she wanted more financially. All right, y'all ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Been divorced before. You know, my first marriage, we made all of the mistakes. Unfortunately, he passed away. So why did you guys get a divorce? Because I really wanted something different. It's very unfortunate because he was the most loving, wow. kind, person i i had all the love and support that i could have ever wanted mm. but i think i went through a period wanting money like i wanted to be with someone and be at a different level and i saw him work all of the time it's it's one thing to like work and work and work from like 4 a.m to 10 p.m at night day in day out and still have no resources mm. And for me to work, do the same, and just want a different life. Now, looking at this woman's appearance, it's no denying that she's an attractive woman. She probably was a lot more attractive in her younger years. And because she knows she was a baddie, a catch, there was probably a whole lot of men out there that was trying to get with her, even though she was married. And there was probably opportunities that came left and right. Guys that had the ability to show her all different type of lifestyles because they had the money. And she was probably thinking, you know what? It's a strong possibility that I made a mistake getting married so young. I didn't have enough fun. There's a lot going on out here. There's a lot of money. I can enjoy all of this. Maybe I should divorce my husband. It's probably what was going through her head. So, long story short. You wanted a different life and lifestyle mm -hmm. than he was able to provide. And so you said, you know what, this, I'm out of here. I need more money. Um, I was selfish and took advantage of a real unfortunate situation, which was he loved me and David unconditionally, completely unconditionally. And when you love someone like that, you really accept their flaws and you accept less than what you should. So really, I should have been a better wife. Every time we saw each other, like you knew that was your soulmate, right? Wow. I mean, so he was your soulmate. What? It's hard because I knew how he still felt about me. I'm, he just loved you. He really did. And you broke his heart. <laughs> wow. <sighs> oh, don't cry too. <laughs> she, she, hey, she crying now. She crying now. So this goes back to the argument. They say that men are more capable of loving unconditionally than a woman is. They say the woman's love comes with conditions. And for this situation here, the condition was money, monetary value, monetary gain. There wasn't enough of it there. Now, you would think that a, a wise enough person, a smart enough person will think, hey, you know what? Let me see what I can do to put the both of us in a position to get our bag bigger. Instead, she was being very selfish. She's like, hell, why should I have to do that when there's other guys out here that can provide that type of lifestyle for me already? I don't even have to put in the work. All I got to do is look cute. If you look at the video that I showed y'all earlier today, 
pretty privileged young girl it works they can get stuff out of men right so she probably went through that stage too where she was attractive enough to be able to get whatever she wanted out of men now she's sad hurt and bitter crying over the fact that she's probably not getting that anymore it's a strong possibility that if she did divorce him and did marry a man that had money, that that man is not treating her the same. That man is treating her almost as if she's property and not someone that he truly values and love like her ex-husband did. She saw that love there. She saw that value. She even said herself that it was like when they look eye to eye, you could tell that they were meant to be, that they were soulmates. But yet her soul was corrupted a little bit because she was thinking about that money. It's unfortunate, but as y'all know, a lot of marriages end in divorce because of finances, man. It's, whew. But it's sad to see that you have this woman here that was able to receive love in a way that not most people experience and to throw it all away. I know majority of men out here, the only thing they're looking for from a woman is this degree of love, right? They're not worried about no money at all. Thick and thin, ups and downs, the struggles will or won't be there. But to have somebody by your side that loves you and allows you to love them is worth more than their weight in gold. Man, y'all, leave your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. I'll catch y'all in the next one. See ya.